Hi, this is Todd with Esoteric Car Care. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly uh, wash and maintain your wheels. Okay, wheel maintenance, wheel cleaning, uh, wheel washing. It's something that most people don't like doing. Um, it's a dirty job, but it's got to be done. Uh, the thing about uh, wheel cleaning, if, if you have a nicely detailed or cleaned up car, and your wheels aren't uh, properly cleaned, it's kind of like wearing a nice suit with a dirty old pair of tennis shoes. It just does not look right. You need to have those wheels clean to really bring out uh, the looks of the vehicle. Another thing uh, uh, behind it is you want to keep those wheels clean because they start getting built up with brake dust. And not only is it uh, unsightly, but that's very corrosive. So you let it set too long, it'll start etching into the, uh, to the finish of the wheels. In particular, some of the German cars um, you know, that produce a lot of brake dust. First of all, you wanna make sure that you have got dedicated tools and, and products and brushes and everything for your wheel cleaning. You know, you've heard us talk about the uh, two bucket uh, wash method. Actually, it's a three bucket because you wanna have dedicated to just your wheels. Keep all of that completely separately. You never wanna uh, use uh, something on the wheels and then go and use it on uh, the body. There's just too many corrosive particles that are going to be in there uh, that, that can scratch up uh, the surface of the car. Keep all of that separated. Dedicate your tools and your wash media for your wheels um, and, and never mix them up with what you've got for the rest of uh, the vehicle. So now that we've talked about that, uh, let's talk about some of the products that are going to be needed for it and then we'll get into some of the uh, procedures of it all. A couple things you're going to want. You're going to want a dedicated wheel cleaner and you're going to want a dedicated soap uh, at the same time. And we've got a couple of different options when it comes to wheel cleaners. We've got Gion Iron, uh, we've got Sonax uh, wheel cleaners in a couple of different formulas and we've got videos on, on those as well if you want to go into some of the details. But the difference between this and uh, a lot of the products out there in the market, particularly what you can find uh, over the counter is this is going to be far more effective and it's far safer for your wheels. So you pay a little bit extra, you get something that works better and it's going to be safer because this is a pH neutral uh, formula. Uh, so you have your wheel cleaner, uh, then you're going to want a shampoo uh, for it as well. You can use the same soap that you're using for the body, preferably something that doesn't have any added uh, protective qualities uh, in it or, or waxes or you know whatever. You just want a nice neutral uh, soap that you can use to clean up uh, the wheels. Also, some brakes can be a little bit sensitive to what kind of uh, um, you know, soaps that are going to get on it. So just use something basic and it's going to work out well for you. Uh, other things that you're going to need, you're going to need some, some tools in it. You're going to need some kind of wash mitt or sponge dedicated uh, for the wheels. And you're going to want a variety of brushes. And we, we've got all those uh, tools available and it's something that you just simply have to have all of them if you want to do a really good job of cleaning them. And remember, particular on like wash mitt or sponge that you may have, never ever get that mixed up with the ones that you're using for the rest of the car. My suggestion would be to have something completely different so you never get them mixed up. And our high quality sponges that we have here that we import from Japan, uh, if you're using these and you like to use them on the body, we recommend that you cut them in half that way you know that the, the, the half sizes are just for the wheels and the full ones are, are just for the car and you're never going to get them uh, mixed up. And then finally, uh, you're going to want some kind of product to put on the wheels afterwards, some kind of protection to them just to make subsequent cleanings uh, a little bit easier. Uh, now, we're not talking about the full on coatings. We'll talk about that in another video. So here we've got a couple of different you know, options, anything from a basic quick detailer uh, to more of a, a product designed specifically for wheel use with our Polish Angel uh, Super Sport here. Uh, it's designed specifically for a wheel application. It's going to last you uh, a bit longer. The durability is going to be uh, a little bit better. Okay, so now we've talked about a lot of the products and tools that you need. Let's talk about the process itself. Now, when you're, when you're doing your car and you go to wash your wheels, I recommend that you wash your wheels first. That way, any extra spray, anything that comes off of the wheels, you don't want that spraying onto an already clean car. Um, so you want to go ahead and do uh, the wheels first. That way, if you get any on the car, you're going to go back and, and do the finished washing process on the car. You can refer to our uh, um, video that we've got on proper uh, uh, car washing. But wash the wheels first. And what we recommend doing is just like with everything detailing, 
you want it to be dry, you want it to be cool, uh, you don't want to go to wash the wheels right after driving the car, everything is hot, let it cool down. Uh, and then preferably do it in the shade as well. Now if you have got wheels that are pretty heavily soiled, particularly uh, something off of a German car, you get your BMWs and your Porsches and your Mercedes and your Audis, they just produce a tremendous amount of, uh, of brake dust. So we'd recommend go in, rinse all that off, um, strong stream of water as you possibly can. If you have a pressure washer, even better. Um, get as much of the standing uh, stuff off the surface as you can. Then go back with uh, your wheel cleaner, spray everything on, completely get the inner barrels and, and faces and you can get on the brake calipers and all uh, as well. You're gonna go around and you're gonna apply that to all four wheels. The time you have that applied, when you come back to that first wheel, it should be ready uh, to scrub it uh, at that time. Now you can do it a couple different ways. Sometimes you may go in there and you may go ahead and take your wheel brush and start cleaning it while it has the wheel cleaner on there. Or you may go in and, and rinse it off thoroughly uh, beforehand, then go back and do some scrubbing. There's not necessarily a right or wrong. It depends on how much time you, you have, um, how dirty the wheels are. If it's a real dirty wheel, Typically what we're gonna do is we're going to put on the wheel cleaner, let it set, rinse everything off with our pressure washer, then go back doing uh, the washing process. But if it's something you know, like uh, Acura's Hondas, they don't produce a, a lot of brake dust, you can go right into after applying your wheel cleaner and then you can go into using your brushes uh, at that time. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and spell out the a little bit more involved process here so it goes through the steps. So we've rinsed it, we've applied our wheel cleaner, we go back, we rinse it again. Now we've got all that uh, nasty stuff that this brings out. We've got it rinsed off. And then we're gonna go in, if you have a, a foam cannon or foam gun, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll spray down the wheels at that time to completely soak them in foam. Not everybody has that, not a problem. It's just one of those steps that you can uh, go with. We like to fully foam them. We already have everything out there when we're washing the car, makes it easy. But if you don't have a foam gun or foam cannon, then just go ahead and take your, uh, uh, your shampoo that you have, put it in your wheel bucket, and then go on to the cleaning process from there. Use your wheel brush to get in behind uh, the spokes all the way to the end and you know, work it from different angles to make sure that you get everything uh, off of there. And you're gonna wanna make sure and rinse it really thoroughly because the wheel cleaner and the soaps they can get in all kinds of cracks and crevices, and if you pull your car in the garage, then all of a sudden you start seeing nasty, dirty stuff dripping out all over your clean wheels again. So make sure that you rinse everything uh, completely. Now that we've gone through that process, it's pretty simple at this point. You wanna dry them off. If you've got compressed air or something similar, it's the best way to go in your wheels and blow out all the water from the cracks and crevices and, and um, you know, the, the brake calipers, every tight little area that, that water can stand. Otherwise, just take a nice uh, drying towel. Once again, something that you're going to dedicate strictly for wheel cleaning, dry everything off. Now, if the wheels are dry, I'm gonna add a little protection. It could be as simple as taking uh, some quick detailer, spray it in the towel. I don't recommend spraying it right onto the wheel because you don't wanna get them onto your uh, brake rotors. Uh, spray it into the towel, wipe everything down, and if you want, stepping up to something a little bit stronger, the uh, Super Sport from Polish Angel, that's designed to be a protectant that's gonna last for a while. This would be my preferred uh, choice, but if you're not stepping up uh, to this, even putting some kind of protection on there is gonna help the cleaning process uh, down the road. Now, if you follow these uh, steps on a regular basis, uh, you may not need to put some kind of protection on every time, particularly if you're using something like this that lasts a little bit longer. But if you're using just a basic quick detailer, it only takes a couple of extra minutes, I would do it uh, every time that you wash the wheels. Now you've got everything clean, you're all uh, uh, ready to go, those wheels are gonna look uh, a lot better. Well, that's about uh, it for the whole process. We've got a lot of different products uh, that we talked about in this video, and we have individual uh, product videos for each of the items that we talked about. So make sure that you go through uh, our uh, library on YouTube, Take a look at the different reviews on the products that you might have found uh, interesting here. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're constantly updating new videos on detailing tips, tools, and techniques. That's about all for today. For Esoteric Car Care, I'm Todd Cooperider. Thanks. See you again next time.